Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Strawberry, blueberry, cobbler. What in the hell? They're cute, actually. And then I'm like, so you ain't gonna answer me. Ooh, he scared me. He look like damn Cujo. Y'all remember Cujo? But you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day. Let me take you away. All I need is yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe. Cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second yeah, yeah. Just to make sure we were okay. Hey y'all, happy Saturday it, This is the start of a new vlog My name is Christy If you're new here, hey girl, hey And if you're a returning subscriber Hey child, hey. Um, yes, today is Saturday and I thought I was we were gonna be out and about, but child, my cold got worse. I'm so congested. Um I've been coughing like a crazy woman. So we're just gonna stay here in the house today. Joey made chicken noodle soup, um, with a soda on the side, chicken noodle soup, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, he made chicken noodle soup, um, I'm drinking my tea I just made. Um, yeah, we're not going to be doing anything today. I started on two loads of clothes, and I don't know if I'm going to feel like folding them today. They're still in the dryer, so, hmm. But yeah, I'm, I don't know what this is on TV that I'm watching. It's on Tubi, so I'm just, you know, rolling with the flow when it comes to Tubi. And how I'm trying to... I just finished editing this video what does that mean? and it's taking so long huh. it's taking so long to upload I think it's because I don't know if it's my internet I don't know what's going on but it's finally moving faster than it was like 15 minutes ago it was stuck on 7% for the longest so I started it over and now it's it seems to be moving pretty fast well so anyways y'all um yeah i ain't gonna be doing nothing today i hate it because it looks so pretty outside it looks so pretty outside um it's supposed to be cold so i think it's like 54 degrees if i'm not mistaken but i wanted to be outside i wanted to go into i wanted to go out to eat i wanted to go to that little area that we like to eat at and walk around and <sighs> that didn't happen today I doped myself up thinking it was gonna happen, but I just I just felt too drowsy. Oh. And then I got this tea from Tuesday morning, it had all different kinds of um flavored tea. So and I chose the this is the mint this is the mint tea and I put some lemon in it. And that's all I did. I didn't put no um no lemon, I mean, no um, honey or sugar, and I just I'm gonna drink it as is. So, I probably need to put some cough drops in it so it can clear me up. Do I even have? I think I left those cough drops at work, but, anyways, y'all, I was just getting on camera to say good morning. Well, child, it is, it ain't no good morning, it is almost it's four o'clock. <laughs> It is four o'clock, so good afternoon. We done wasted the day. What is this with Tyrese in it? Girl, what is this? Are you trying to kill somebody? 
It's called Dangerous. And it's on Tubi. I don't know. I guess I'll see what, what they talking about. Uh, but anyways, y'all. I was just checking in. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Child, Tyrese didn't make but 10 minutes. 5 minutes of his appearance. And now he's dead. What kind of... Hello, can I get the air for you? Yes, can I get the um, breakfast toaster with bacon, please? Any ketchup or sauce for you order? Um, ketchup, please. 849, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. Ooh, I'm all twisted up. Child, it's so cold. It's 39 degrees, y'all. Oh. Ooh. Lord. I'm trying not to hit my bun, so I'm moving kind of funny. And then I'm trying not to get makeup on this shirt. It's been a morning already. Child. It's been a morning. I left the house. I got to our uh, apartment gate. And realized I didn't have my uh, my wallet. I had to turn around and so Joey can bring me that. Then I need to pump gas. Should have did that Friday, but I didn't do it. I had to pump gas. Go to the gas station. All the damn things got um, the little red bags on it, so it, so it wasn't no gas. So I had to circle around until I found like a little. So until I found one without the freaking, oh, without the plastic bag on it. So I found one. And it asked, was this a debit or a credit card or whatever? And I kept pressing yes. yes. The damn buttons don't work. <laughs> so I had to drive around again and find another one. Finally found it, and it worked. Okay. I was going to stop by McDonald's. McDonald's line was too long, so I kept on moving. Get on down the doggone highway, and I was about to, I was at the light. The light turned green, and I was about to turn... And somebody had like a at child. It was an 18-wheeler right here. And a car, I don't know if the car hit the 18-wheeler or whatever, but I couldn't turn. I couldn't figure out what was going on because it's dark. And so I literally had to make a U-turn, make a right, and go through this gas station parking lot. And then, you know, get on the road where I'm supposed to be going. And now my head is hurting. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, y'all, good morning. It is, what's today? It's Monday, and I'm headed to work. Um, I'm feeling better. Um, now everything is just starting to, all the mucus and everything is starting to come up, and I'm coughing and all that stuff. But, but, but my head hurt now. I don't know why. It just started hurting all of a sudden. But, child, it's been a mess. I was like, ain't no need me even trying to rush. It's 7 o'clock. And then you can tell the school is back in because when I tell you it's traffic, traffic, and more traffic. Oh, good afternoon, y'all. Good afternoon. I'm just getting off work. Oh, try I'm sleeping. <coughs> I'm just getting off work. It is 4:30. I'm trying to find my freaking lotion. And I need to go get my nails done like ASAP because, girl, I was trying to comb this wig and strands got up under, under the nail, under this nail. You hear me? I can see it through the doggone, <laughs> I can see it through the freaking nail. I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, it's time for me to go get my nails done. I was child like I supposed to got my nails done last week and didn't do it so it's really time now so yeah that's where we're headed who child I'm looking real greasy fine but um I got back on camera <coughs> to tell y'all about the interview we had an interview today I didn't even think we were gonna have one today I actually was about to I was just about to um, email my boss I think it was around 11 o'clock. As soon as I uh, I started typing, I get a uh, Teams invite for an interview for a candidate. So, I was like, okay. So, it was at 
and I was like, um, she, my boss was like, she seemed pretty nice when I talked to her, very professional and all this stuff. I was like, okay, they ain't got nothing to do with you. We all seem pretty nice and professional when we first start, you know, trying to get an interview and all this stuff. I was like, can you send me the resume, her resume? So by the looks of her resume, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we're going to call my boss Brenda. Uh-uh, Brenda. I don't know about this, Brenda. Because <coughs> on her resume, there were some jobs she was only there for a month. There were some jobs she was there for three months. There was another job she was there for like a year. And then another one, I'm like, why the, why the inconsistency in the job? So I asked my boss that. She was like, I don't know, but uh, most of the can candidates seem like they job hop. So I was like, oh, shit. So we were like, we'll see how the interview goes. So the interview comes. Oh, I am greedy. Ciao. So we start the interview process, and when she popped on, the candidate pop, pop, popped on the screen. I was like, oh, okay, she's a young girl, whatever, cute, whatever. And when she started talking, I was like, oh. She seems like she knows some stuff. You know, or she can figure out some stuff and all this stuff. You know, by by her talking. So as we went on through to the talking, I was like, um, I think my other boss was like, I see that there are some jobs that you only stay there a month because I was I was gonna ask that question a month or so, and she was like, Is that when you were going to school? Why you were going to school? And the and she was like, Yeah, I went to school for. She got a bachelor's in health care social something social services or something and a minor in psychology I was like oh okay so that's why she has the inconsistency in the jobs or whatever and then um, y'all know y'all know me I was like have you had any have you worked in the hospital before and she was like yeah I said do you know do you know anything about scanning have you scanned before she was like no I haven't scanned anything in, you know, scanning any documents in, but I do know how to work a scanner, I know how to work a printer, a copier, she went on and on about it, I was like, okay, because y'all know my last co-worker, but anyways, <laughs> she seemed really, really nice, really, really knowledgeable, and also, my boss asked her about something, about teamwork, are you a team player, or teamwork, now, do you prefer team what's the question? I forgot how the question was worded, but she was like, or do you prefer working alone? And she was like, she can do both. Like, when you tell her, to, you know, when you show her how to do something, she don't need nobody to hold her hand or stand over her while she's working or something like that. I can't remember, but I, I loved her answer, and I was like, girl, me and my boss was like, oh, I like your answer. I love the answer because y'all know peanut. You literally have to stand over her and tell her where to go, where to click, how to do this, how to do that, in order for her to do her job. So it felt good to know that she knows, you know, that she will catch on pretty quickly. So I said, I'll let to say, I really liked her. My boss really liked her. As soon as we got off the call, I got an email from my boss. I like her. I was like, I do too. I mean, we, you know, we all were um, emailing each other. So she was like, I think I'm just gonna reach out to her, put in the offer for her or whatever, and see if she will take it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one, like a natural neutral kind of color. I think. Okay, y'all, I just got my nails done and it's a neutral color. They're so cute. But now I am in front of Walmart because I gotta get a few things. Joey went to Walmart earlier today and forgot some things. And then I forgot to tell him that I wanted those chicken ranch buffalo sam uh, sandwiches, salads. So I'm gonna run in here and get that along with a few other stuff, I guess. Seems like I come to Walmart every other day. <sighs> but y'all, it is cold. It's cold. The wind is winding. My car is reading. This morning was 38, and now my car is reading 58. But that wind is like. Girl, mm. but anyways, I need to put my coat on because child, I'm already sick. Girl, this say strawberry, blueberry, coffee.
cobbler. What in the hell? Oh my god. Ugh. And this will say peach apple cobbler. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, y'all. I do a little mini haul. Got some cuties. I got the tuna for my salad. I got the buffalo ranch and I got the seasoned bacon uh, salad. Some bean and cheese burritos for my family. And I got Joey this southern peach cobbler because I'll just take a little bite and that's it. Some trash bags. Um, some detergent. And I think that's it. Some cups and some mucus relief. And I'm about to get the hell on out of here. Hey y'all. Happy wet Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday. I feel like I've been I've been working all week, but it's Tuesday. I'm almost at home. <coughs> uh, I've been having this cough for so uh, I'm telling y'all, this mucus relief ain't doing nothing. Ain't doing nothing. You hear me? It said it's supposed to suppress the cough and loosen, what is it, thin and loosen the mucus. Child, I've been coughing all night. Every hour on the hour, I was getting up to go to the bathroom because I didn't want to keep waking Joey up. Try my car. Oh. Anyways, good afternoon, child. Welcome back to today's vlog. Um, <coughs> I'm heading home, girl. Heading home. I just got a notification that my package is here from Shein. I ordered some um, some flat shoes for work or whatever. Um, one of them came in last Saturday when my when my coach cap came in, and the other pair, I guess other three was delivered today so i'm gonna show y'all that today um child work <sighs> Whew. work has been working work has been working me do you hear me it's like now not only my work but people are punning their work what they supposed to be doing off on the medical records department and i don't like that you hear me I do not like it at all. Me and the release of information person, we are frustrated, irritated, all the Asians. We were, today, that's what we were. I got so frustrated. I, I frustrated. I emailed my boss, my big boss, because my my manager, she's off for this week, and I told her, I was like, look, are we supposed to be doing this? Are we supposed to be doing that? And you know, I gave her all her whole spiel. I can tell y'all, whole dog on what happened today but I know y'all probably don't want to hear that but I'm, I'm just gonna you know give y'all a little I'm gonna give y'all a little short a short version of it and if y'all hear the rattling of course it's my tumbler in my cup holder which is supposed to be in my cup holder y'all but I got all the coins in my cup holder anyways yeah I emailed my boss telling her about how everybody is pawning stuff on us and I asked her I said does do we supposed to go above and beyond and do this for them or is that their or is it part of their job and blah 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 so this is the kind of boss that will send you a screenshot of the penal code 469 page 62 she will send you that she's that kind of boss she won't just flat out answer you according to such and such and such she's that kind of boss so I was expecting that so after a while, I didn't hear no response or nothing, y'all. Nothing from her. But I get an email from, it says SharePoint Online. So I was like, SharePoint Online request denied. So I was like, huh? So I click on it. It says SharePoint Online uh, request decline for ROI, which is release of information, exercise booklet. So I was like, I didn't request no ROI exercise booklet or whatever it is. Then I went to thinking. 
I went the damn thinking. I was like, I know this ain't my boss's response. I know this ain't her telling me that I need to look through this booklet to see if we do, if we supposed to be doing this uh, above and beyond damn thing. You know, do we supposed to be doing this extra work? I know this ain't her because she hasn't, she she didn't respond to me. But I got this doggone encrypted message. SharePoint Online ROI Exercise Booklet Request Denied. So is that her telling me this is part of our, I mean, why not just flat out answer my question? Why not do that? Because I know that was her. I know it was her. But her not to, she, because she's always on point of answering emails. And she's always on point of, you know, copying and pasting the penal code 62, section 82. She's always good at doing that. So I know, I know that was her child so I was like it was denied anyway so I so I'm sure I'm gonna get an email tomorrow asking me did you read such and such and I'm gonna be like no because I asked you a point blank a simple question all you had to do is say no Christy that is not your job which I already know is it isn't but I wanted her to know what the situation was just in case <coughs> they came to her and um, ask her why it ain't done. This is the reason why it ain't done because it ain't my job. But anyways, y'all, let me go in here. I just had to vent for a minute. I'm like, what? so you ain't gonna answer me. Okay, y'all. I got my package from Shein. Did I tell y'all that? I can't remember. <laughs> but it's from Shein, y'all. I needed some shoes to slip on for work. Well, I bought two pair of slip on for work and then I bought some sandals. But y'all. Okay, so these are the sandals. They don't look like this. Yeah. Well, I don't remember them being gold, but anyways, these are the sandals. Oh, they're cute, actually. These are the slip-ons. Oh. They're cute, though, right? I forgot how much they were. I think it was like $11 or so. <clears throat> 11 something I put the prices on the um, screen. And then these are some slip-ons for work. Which are really really cute. I hope it's what size are these? Yeah, these are really really cute. My other ones are like this, but they're colorful. So I'll show y'all once I get home. They're cute too. And then the last pair. Hmm. Are these sandals? Which I thought were really cute too. I just really need some, you know, some slip-on sandals. I can wear these to work actually, actually, because they have the little strap at the back. But they don't seem like they too much care about the strap being at the back of the sandals because I see like the executive people wearing sandals like the first ones that I just showed y'all the slip-on. I'm like, okay, but you, okay, okay, I see how y'all working, but yeah, these are really, really cute too. So that means I gotta go home and do my damn toes. That I ain't. Uh, <laughs> I'm here at home. I think I need to stop out of the mailbox. Cause I seen some from Sally Mae. Y'all know who Sally Mae is. I seen some from Sally Mae. I'm like, look. Are my student loans canceled? That's all I need to know because. Child, I checked my credit score and I was like, I see a lot of student loans that's been kind of wiped away. So, 
I need to make it on over here to this doggone mailbox to see if that's true because my credit score went up really, really, probably like a good 20 or 30 points. I mean, yeah. Like 20 some points because of that. I'm like, wait a minute now. Are they, did they wipe away my loan? What's going on? So, try everybody at the mailbox. What is this, a mailbox party? Let me see. <clears throat> if Santa may not send me something. Uh -uh. Cause y'all know I have this app where they tell me, they show me what's in my mailbox. They just show the front part of it. And this ain't what I seen. I seen some, for, hold on. U.S. Department of Education. This is what I'm talking about right here. Oh, shit. This is just saying that your student loan has been transferred to the, child transferred to another damn company or something. Okay, y'all, I am in my closet. I wanted to show y'all the last pair of shoes. Oh, child, I'm getting old. But these are the other shoes. I wore these yesterday. They're so cute. But anyways, yeah, that's all I wanted to show y'all for now. Did I order anything else? I'll talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. It is Wednesday and I just made it to work and I took my email child. Y'all know I was telling y'all about how my big balls well, I thought my big, big boss sent me that little, um, what is it? Request denied or basically telling me to go look it up for myself about is this part of my job? <laughs> so I don't, I don't know where that came from, but I just looked at, at my email today and I was telling her about the, you know, I was telling y'all about the patients that need the amendment forms and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. So she just emailed me back. Well, that was yesterday. She was like, can, can you give me a list of the patients, please? And she will talk to the compliance manager. Okay. Scratch all that, what I what I said yesterday. Now she's about to get some things done. Okay. My bad. You know, I'll admit when I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. But she's about to get some things done. So let me give her the list of what we've been going through. <laughs> I just wanted to give y'all that update. Child, it is... 7:20. I got my Celsius. I didn't have no coffee, y'all. I, I don't think I, for some reason, I haven't been wanting coffee for the past three days. I don't know if it's because of this cough that I got that I cannot get rid of, and plus I be brushing my teeth later than normal. So once I drink my coffee, you know, on my way to work, is it don't taste right. So I was in a mood for Celsius, so that's what I got today. And this is the strawberry lemonade, which is so good. But anyways, y'all, let me uh, respond to this email right quick. Go get my charts and get my day started. So I was just telling y'all this update and she about to get some sh done. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Forgive me for yesterday. I was just having a bad day. I wanted to cuss everybody out in the, in the doggone hospital because they always pun and they work out, on, work out off on us. But today, it's going to be a good day. Mm-hmm. I feel it now. She about to get some things done. So, <laughs> yeah. See y'all later. Am I going the right way? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm off work, but I'm going the. I'm taking another route because I know if I go the route that I normally will go, I will run into all that school traffic and all of that. So, I'm trying not to do it without the GPS. You know, I'm trying to find the my spots that I that I can remember. I think I'm going the right way. But anyways, y'all, I needed to go by Target because the mascara that I got, child, it ain't mascara. I should have just stuck to the old one that I normally would get and that's the Maybelline in the yellow little container. Because the one that I got now, child, I feel like it making me look I ain't, like I ain't got no lashes. The, um, the Maybelline one that I normally would use child look like I got some lashes on but this one I literally have to keep going like this for like two or three minutes I'm like damn is it on <laughs> child oh 
Hold up. Wait. Oh, look at this dog. Bitch. Woo, that's a Rottweiler. Can't, uh, I see the can't nobody walk through this neighborhood because he ain't even on no leash. Coming after me. Now, if I would have ran him over. Oh, Lord, where am I going? Is this the street? One house in particular that I remember. I think I don't took the wrong turn. <clears throat> See, I'm trying to do it without the dog on GPS. I need the damn GPS. Because I don't remember how to get around no damn well. I don't think I was supposed to take this turn, child. Uh-uh. I'm going to end up in somebody's dog on driveway. Bitch. So how, um, I feel like I need to turn around. Ooh, these houses scare me. I don't want that dog to come after me like, like he just did. Oh, he scared me, he looked like damn Cujo. Y'all remember Cujo? Oh, fuck. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. I got some good news today. The new person is starting on April the 10th. Do you hear me? April the 10th, y'all. And I think I feel like I was supposed to. What are getting on these damn straightaway looking dogs? I think I'm I was on the right. Oh, is this the way? <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, the new person starts April the 10th. Orientation will be for two days. So she'll be in orientation for those days. Girl, what is wrong with these dogs? Oh my God. Oh, and I mean, they ain't no, on no leash or nothing. See, now I'm going the right way. <sighs> I can't even tell my damn story. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I just got the damn scare of my life. Do you hear me? <laughs> it was this person in another car and we were like side by side, side by side. And when I turned just to look like that, he was in the window like this. Like, literally, his face was pressed against the window looking like this. Just making the ugliest look you can... <sighs> I was so scared, I couldn't even look back over there. I was like... And I just kept my hand on the wheel and just faced forward. Uh -oh. Girl, he scared me. Like, I don't know if he was just... <laughs> Doing it to mess with people that's in the high, on the highway. I mean, that's on the road, or if he was really, you know, special or something. I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. Make me not even want to look at nobody's car, inside nobody's car, no more. <laughs> I mean, he literally had his face pressed up against the wall. I mean, the window. Make had the ugliest face. Oh. So I hurry up and try to get in front of the child. Ooh, I didn't want to be stuck sitting, you know, at the light sitting right beside him. Because I don't know what he... <laughs> child, what is wrong with people nowadays?
that I care for you, I do. But sometimes I can't be there for you. Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? That I'm just being me. Sometimes we're just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love I don't want to be mad on you No, I don't want to be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Hey, y'all Sometimes I need what's best mm. Baby, can't you see? Hmm <laughs> Happy Thursday, y'all It is 150 Do you hear me? 150 Mm, mm, mm tell you i've been pulled in all different di directions today this don't make no sense oh lord <laughs> from meetings from people coming in asking questions when the release of information person don't know i mean it was so many of them that i couldn't even get shit done and then I had another meeting and then the the baby mama and the baby daddy that was supposed to come Tuesday to finish their birth birth certificate stuff they didn't come until today oh my god <coughs> I was like this is gonna be a smooth day when I got in I got a message uh, from the consignment store stating that they're gonna have like a sale all blue tags is uh what is it um buy one get one free so i'm like oh i had made up in my mind that i was gonna go at 10 o'clock when they open to see what they got i was like okay it's gonna be a smooth day 9 45 came i got a notification saying i had a dog on meeting a dog on state reporting me and i'm like at 10 o'clock I said, girl. So I took that meeting. I was like, well, I'll just go on my break around 11 and 1130, you know. So I went upstairs and did my charts. And around, child, it was around 1115. The parents called me because I gave them my cell phone number. Because, y'all, sometimes I don't be in, y'all know, I, I don't be in the office all the time. So I gave them my cell phone number. Here she come, the damn baby mama. We on our way. <laughs> And that was around 11.30ish when she called or 11.15 or something like that. So I just make my way on downstairs and I just scan the rest of my stuff downstairs. So they finally come at 12. No. It was about 11.45, 12 o'clock. I get down with them. Somebody coming at the window asking about something else. That the release of information person don't know because it was dealing with Position stuff, and I'm like, <sighs> try it's just, mm -mm. and then around, so I tried to, you know, get caught back up of what I was doing. I forgot what the hell I was doing, so I was like, woosa, woosa. And I was like, okay, Chris, you gotta finish your charts. Start trying to finish that, get a notification. We got another meeting at one o'clock. I'm like. Girl, <laughs> they told me I was coming to work today to to actually work. 